Hey YouTube, sup? I'm back with another interesting computer. It's an IBM ThinkPad 390. It was made in uh, 1998 or 99, I don't know. And it's a great computer. But quick, just take a look at the other parts. This is the battery. This is for the processor cooling, and this is the infrared port, power button, and the USB port. USB 1.1. Two P per side. Power jack, VGA, serial port, canceling tone lock. This is the housing of the hard drive. It goes in like this. Printer port and a PS2 port for keyboard and mouse. The three jack plugs uh, for the microphone, for the inner IUX, and for the headset. And this is the switch of the volume. And over here, we have two PCMCA slots for PC cards. And here, I have a floppy disk player and a CD player. One thing I would really like to show you about this computer, it's a real cool fact that is the switch bait thing. So if you switch this button, you can take out the battery over here. And if I switch this button, I can do the same with the CD and the floppy player, which is attached together. So now I have two holes in my notebook, one over here, one over there. This one's for the players and I can put my battery in it. And I can put another one in the original battery space, which will give me, with two brand new batteries, eight hours of usage which is huge and it's awesome it was a really really good business computer back in the day so let's fire it up actually why not start from battery since this computer is totally like brand new I tell you a story as it fires up and the specs I have Windows 2000 installed and this computer is from France and it was the part of a company and the company ended in 1999 uh, or 2000 I don't really know all of the computers were refurbished just wrong and they just stole it for like really low price here we have the original starting thing but screen uh, so specs are uh, 64 megs of RAM. It's plenty enough for Windows 2000 to run. It has a uh, Sony graphic chip inside it. It has 2.5 megs of graphic RAM, and uh, the hard drive is a brand new PC hard drive, and I bought it for uh, 20 bucks and. It's 40 gigs big, so it's really cool. Uh, speakers over here under the screen, this part. And I have to say that the speakers have some amazing quality. It's a shame that today's computer don't have that. It's so cool. So, Windows 2000 firing up. I have some really cool programs on it installed. And one cool thing is this PC card. This PC card is US Robotic Wi-Fi card, and I can put it here just to show you inside PC card slot. I just slide it in, and then hear the sound. It's online, and I have Wi-Fi. It was not that difficult to install Windows 2000 on this computer, but it made me some had a cheese sometimes so if you need any advice just write me you can find things in the description so this is my windows 2000 boot it i have mozilla firefox on it and i'm already online you can see the tumble here and the battery fully charged and it says three and a half hours oh no it's not even full just 84 percent so in my computer, I have two of my hard drives, 
and a CD player over here, four PPR, hard drive A, 20 gigs, hard drive B, 20 gigs, CD player, and of course the control panel. This is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Want to know something? Comment.